Okay, it's my turn to draw, and I think that the most appropriate is to draw a squirrel card. So, let's assess the situation. I'm down by two points. This wolf will kill me, but it only has one health. So, I have a plan. I am going to put down, oops, the squirrel card. And I'm going to sacrifice both the ant and the squirrel. This means that I should be able to place down two dams. Oops. And they do, you need to squiggle them in order to uh, not make them curl together. Like this. And I think that's my turn. So I'm gonna ring the bell. And let's see how it plays out. This coyote attacks my beehive, which perishes. But each time I get hit, I should be able to get a bee. There we go. I have one of these and the wolf attacks this one and it perishes. Cool. Now, I think that I'm going to, I do have a B, so I'm gonna just draw, draw a card. Heck yeah. Hmm, the best card, but it, uh, transparency doesn't work. Okay, okay, so sacrifice this beaver. I need to get rid of this one. So I'm just gonna place down a B, and then I'm gonna sacrifice it for a bullfrog. There we go. And I think that's my turn. So let's go. Bullfrog kills the coyote. Oops. The mantis god. One, two, and because this one only has one health, I represent this with the little flurp here. Uh, Kill all of the enemies and I get two points. So I move it up there. And then nothing happens. Just ba bum, 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 bum. Nothing happens next turn. And I win. So this is the um, my prototype for a <laughs> printing cards. Cards while playing, which is pretty fun. I made this little application for it. So I can print like any card in the game. And that's what the Mantis God should look like. This is what it does look like. So it's not perfect. And I can print the stoat. And the, uh, the scale. <laughs> you just have a, a scale button. It just prints like this. Pretty epic. And for the to keep track of the score, I just took one of these and have them laid like that. So that's the uh, that's the prototype.